Halloweenies and welcome back to Spooky Spectacles. Today is day three in our 12 part series, 12 days counting down to spookiness. If you missed day one and two, we'll leave a link in the description box for each of those videos. So I'm really excited for today's video. We're going to do something a little different than the first two days. Um, today we're going to start a brand new segment with you guys that I hope you'll enjoy as much as I think I'm going to enjoy it. So today we're unraveling Scary Stories, our spooky book club. So what we're going to do here at Scary Stories, our spooky book club, is we're going to read a different spooky, horror-filled, thriller-type novel every month. And if it happens to be around a major holiday, we're going to hopefully get to incorporate some of those fun seasons to celebrate. So without further ado, let's get into the book of the month for our Scary Stories book club. So December's book is going to be Nosferatu. Um, we just thought it was the perfect choice for blending Christmas and horror all into one. So Nosferatu, which I have a copy here, was written by Joe Hill, who actually happens to be the son of Stephen King. So you just know that it's going to be a very interesting read. So for those of you who don't know, Nosferatu is actually a black and white German um, film in I believe the 1920s. So it's going to be pretty cool to see the adaptation uh, rewritten in the book form. I'm really excited for that. If you haven't seen Nosferatu, um, I would recommend it. It is a silent black and white film, but it is pretty cheesy and comical and really where um, vampires sort of originated in film. So it is really cool to see. So what is this book about? Well, let's take a look at what the back has to say. So Victoria, or Vic McQueen, has an uncanny knack for finding things. When she rides her bicycle over the rickety bridge in the woods near her house, she always emerges in a place she needs to be. Well, that's interesting. It sounds like there might be some time travel involved. Vic doesn't tell anyone about her unusual ability. Yeah, I probably wouldn't tell anybody either. So it also says, Charles Talent Manx has a gift of his own. He likes to take children for rides in his 1938 Rolls Royce Wraith with a vanity plate, Nosferatu. So right there already, that sounds super creepy. Um, it also doesn't sound like this book is for the faint of heart. So keep that in mind. Let's see. In the Wraith, he and his innocent guests can slip out of the everyday world to an astonishing playground of amusements he calls Christmas Land. So right there, that's kind of why we went ahead and we chose this book for our December book of the month, um, just to incorporate, you know, the cheer of the season in a nice spooky way. Mile by mile, the journey across the highway of Charlie's twisted imagination transforms his precious passengers, leaving them as terrifying and unstoppable as their benefactor. So right there, I'm kind of sensing that um, Charles, or Charlie as he's often referred, is um, maybe not necessarily human and it kind of gives us a sense that he's going to be turning these um, children into something maybe not human as well. So I'm looking forward to see what that is. And finally, and then comes the day when Vic goes looking for trouble and finds her way inevitably to Charlie. Now the only kid ever to escape Charlie's twisted imagination is all grown up and desperate to forget. But Charlie Manx hasn't stopped thinking about Vic McQueen. On the road again, he won't slow down until he's taken his revenge. So it sounds like Vic, our protagonist, is going to be having a run-in with uh, Charlie. Uh, but she, it sounds like she's going to escape from that, so that should be very interesting to see. Um, do we think she escaped from Christmas Land, or do we think she ever made it to Christmas Land? And really, what is Christmas Land? That's, I'm really excited to see what they do there. It is a pretty lengthy book, but I did happen to find an audiobook on YouTube. So it's a two part audiobook reading. I'll leave the links in the description box below. It is 10 hours, or you can check out the hard copy. Um, the hard copy does come with some pretty interesting artwork that I'm not sure you're going to get in the audiobook. So, for instance, we got an advertisement for. Christmas land actually so that's pretty interesting and it looks like there's a few other pictures 
that you might miss out on in the audiobook, but audiobooks are a great experience. And uh, I listened to a few hours myself and the reader is, she's phenomenal. She just really puts in a lot of tone and infliction into everything she does. So that's wonderful. So there you have it guys. The book of the month for December is Nosferatu by Joe Hill. So we're going to give you until January. So stay tuned for our next video, which will be our discussion board video. So that's going to do it for this video, everyone. Tune in in January to see our book discussion on Nosferatu and to figure out what our next book of the month will be. As always, guys, thank you so much for your support. Make sure you continue to hit that like button and subscribe if you want more spooky content. And tune in for tomorrow's video, the fourth day counting down our 12 days to spookiness.